What is up, my fellow citizens? It's Geo here. And, you know, today I want to talk about something that maybe I could break stuff down and maybe calm some people down. Because yesterday I was watching um, Reverse to Verse. And, you know, when it came down to asking the questions, the main thing I seen was, when's the FPS coming out? Where's the FPS? And even when you go on videos, you that's the main thing you see. When's the FPS coming out? When's the FPS coming out? Look, y'all, I understand. Trust me. I was really disappointed when it got delayed, and I want to play it just as much as anybody else. Trust me, I, I do. But let's sit back, take a chill pill, and think about things. Now, this module is going to be the second biggest thing getting released after the dogfighting module. Hell, maybe some may even argue this may be the first thing that's the most important thing after the dog module. I mean, it could be up for grabs for some people. But we're going to want this to look its best even though we know it's in the alpha right now and we know it's going to be some changes going on we want this thing to shit on a lot of fps games that's out right now and i think that's what may be going on in chris roberts head. i think he may want to be like you know what let's release this fps module and let's show the world that this could run at alpha better than the majority of these games that are out right now because we don't want a Battlefield 4 situation. Does anybody remember when Battlefield 4 came out, how shitty those were, servers were, and how messed up it was for months? That was horrible, and that was rushed, and we don't want that to happen with this. Do y'all really want that game, or this part of the module, I should say, to get released right now in its current form? If it's messed up, the graphics aren't polished. Really, I wouldn't have been really that upset with the graphics that they did show. I was fine with that, but if they're gonna make them even better, Hell, I'm down for it. But for it to be running shitty and terrible net code, that would be awful to have that running like that on the first day. And then we already have these media outlets who just can't wait to eat up negative shit. Because every time I look up, I mean, PC Gamer, it just seems like they get uh, nipple boners every time they see Star Citizen messes up. Oh, the producer leaves. Oh, FPS module indefinitely. It's not coming right now. And it just seems like they really... Have fun with seeing this game mess up sometimes. I, I hope I'm wrong. I, I, I may be wrong about it because I would like to think uh, a website called PC Gamer Magazine or whatever the hell it's called is for a PC game like this because this is like a mega exclusive for PC. Like one of the biggest ones hands down that I've seen in a long time. And matter of fact, one of the only ones I've seen in a long time that actually put your computer to the test because how long have we been using... The crisis, uh, the first crisis as a test bed. I mean, people been using that for years. Now everyone's saying, oh yeah, SC is going to crush rigs. And that's way too long to be using. Well, when did that game come out? 2006, 2007? I don't know when the first crisis came out, but I know it's been a long ass time to use that one game for a test bed. So it's going to be good to actually have SC. A nice exclusive come out for the PC and represent of why people should get a PC. Because I'm going to be honest, this is the game that pushed me to get a PC. Now, I was looking at DayZ, uh, the mod when it first came out. There was an awesome video. And that one, I was like, oh, that, see, that is the stuff. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can see. You may have seen it already. I, I was like, you know what? That is the type of stuff I want to do. So that was that was almost when I first got into PC gaming. But then once I seen SC, I said, oh, that's it. That's the game that makes me join the PC Master Race. And you know what? There's going to be a lot of new players that come in. If this is running good and looks awesome, they're going to come in and join. They're going to join the bandwagon, especially some of these bigger YouTubers who do strictly uh, like Call of Duty and Battlefield videos. Never post any type of SC content and all of a sudden they're going to put it on their channel it's going to go out to their audience and we're going to have more citizens to fill out this awesome universe so more of the story is yes rsi you guys are bogus for giving us a date and then it got switched up but guys this is what we signed up for there's going to be delays stuff like this is going to happen and we got to bear with them we got to support them I'm pretty sure no one sits there and then all of a sudden, you know what? We don't want to delay it because we want to piss people off. I'm pretty sure because that them forms, ooh, I, I could just imagine they, they don't like to do stuff like that on purpose. And another thing, while we're talking about the subject of waiting, 
I've seen guys say stupid stuff like, oh my gosh, this game is never coming out. Gosh, I wish they would hurry up. <laughs> guys, we have got to understand, this game's only been in development for, what, two years, seven, eight months, something crazy like that. There's been, what, two Call of Duties, two Assassin's Creed that came out since then, and those games haven't been innovating at all. And look at the scale of this game and what they're trying to do. I know some of you guys knew that it was going to take longer than, what, two, three years? There's no way the level of this game was going to take that, sh that short of amount of time to make. I mean, just think about it. They're even redoing some of the engine, the cry engine, to be customized for Star Citizen. Now, I know that's going to take a little bit of time. I think that's what they're running to in the, uh, the FPS module. And also... Of course, some stuff is going to take longer because, once again, I know the stretch goals. Now, some stuff won't be added in at launch, but there is stuff that's going to be there at launch. And we got to keep that in mind. This stuff is getting added on, guys. So it's a process. This is what's going on. The last thing that we got added on our stretch goals, and this it doesn't have a date, but it was after sometime November 2014, and that was the um, enhanced ship modularity, which... Some debate that after that came out, there's really no point of variance because you could kind of do whatever to your ship now. I mean, ain't that awesome to have that feature in there? So they're going back, remodeling those ships that you already have. By the way, if you guys seen um, what ship was getting redone, the Constellation is getting redone, Cutlass, Merlin, and all kind of other ships that are going to get redone and look better, plus have this modularity thing going on in there. And another thing that we had done which they didn't even have to go back and do, but they did it for us anyways, was the hangers. I thought the hangers we had before were just fine. They made them look even better, guys. So they went back and redid that for us. So we have to understand stuff like this is going to take time. And they're going back, redoing stuff, making it better. So, of course, we got to have patience. If you look at this chart right here, let's take a look at this. EverQuest, 1996 to 1999, three years. World of Warcraft, 2000 to 2004, four to five years. Star Wars The Old Republic, 2006 to 2011, five years. Guild Wars, 2007 to 2012, five years. And this one really just takes the cake. Cause this, I can't believe this one took this many years. Elder Scrolls Online, 2007 to 2014. And let's be honest, that game didn't really do nothing amazing. Let's keep it real, guys. It's nowhere near the scale of Star Citizen. So you guys got to be willing to embrace yourself for the long ride. I know I'm in it for the long haul. You know, if it takes another three, four years, so be it. I want a good game. I know a lot of people may disagree, like, oh, no, they need to hurry up and rush it and blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, guys, if you don't want to wait that long, I know I heard some people... If they ask nicely, they could get their money back. You go to our side, ask them, hey, look, can I get my money back? I'm not feeling this no more. But I knew once I put myself in this game and I got myself involved, I knew I was in it for the long haul. And I know a lot of people who spent thousands and thousands of dollars, they don't, they're not really worried about it. They take your time, get it done. And that's how I'm feeling. I just want a good game. I don't want no rush bullshit like a lot of these triple A's do. Because I, oh gosh, I, I'm just really sick of them to be honest. And this is a universe that's going to last us years. Hopefully like the, how long World of Warcraft has lasted. I mean, that's amazing. But the point of me bringing up that list, I just want to show you guys how long it took for other MMOs to get developed. Because they said... Usually, it takes about five years minimum to make an MMO. And that looks like it's true for the most part. So, we have one of the best perfectionists when it comes down to making games. And that is our Lord and Savior, Space Sims, Christ Roberts. <laughs> now, we have to remember, rumor has it that this man told EA he needed more time on Wing Commander 4. And he went over the budget or something like that. There's a rumor that they said that he had left the studio for that reason or got fired. Because he needed more money and he needed more time to make this game. Because 
EA had a deadline, and it sounds very true because we all know how EA is. They got a deadline. They want you to rush your shit out just like they did Battlefield 4, and it was a shit fest. So that sounds about right, and Christ Roberts did the right thing and got the hell up on out of there. But last thing I want to tell you guys, I forgot to tell you about the FPS module. There was a leaked video of a guy playing the FPS module when uh, the leak happened. And I will leave a link for the video below so you guys can see it yourself. And it didn't look like it was ready. So I'm definitely glad they didn't release it at the state it was that I seen in this video. Even though there wasn't really um, nobody in there. It was just by himself. But it, just think, if it was messing up with him by himself in there, just imagine when there's other players in there. So my question to you in closing, guys, I want to have a civil debate between other citizens and other citizens. Now, if they're just trolls, you guys could bash their comments. But I want to have a civil conversation on, do you guys want the game to take its time, or would you guys like it to be hurried up? Because we know there are some space sims out there that got rushed, and everyone was like, oh, yeah, you can buy this game now, the full game. It does everything Star Citizen is supposed to do. <laughs> I ain't gonna say no names, but I can tell you one thing. That game is dead right now on YouTube. I, I barely see nobody play it, but I'll let your imagination flow if you guys want to figure out what game I'm talking about. Because let me tell you, I bought it, and I was very disappointed that I had wasted my money on that game. Because so many people hyped it up, but I guess what it came down to was a whole bunch of people who were trying to shit on Star Citizen that was hyping that game up. So I fell a victim to that. But you guys have a blessed, awesome day. And one more thing, Star Citizen for life.